Good day, everyone. Welcome back. And today we've got a 10 minute clip for you with the predictions for this weekend's big race in Kelowna, Canada. Sorry, we were just there. Blue Mountain, Canada. It's the last race in the North American Championship Series. Jack and I have narrowed it down to 13 men and 13 women for you to predict your top five from. And we've got an entire podcast up, believe it or not, right now for Patreons only. If you're seeing this on Wednesday, the rest of you will have to wait until tomorrow up for the regular podcast. But a little shout out for you to get on the Patreon right now. See the picks early. But let's get to Jack and I. We're going to give you a little men's, a little women's. Uh, for now, a little taste. Get you excited about the weekend. Away we go. So you've got in order, first to fifth, Lindsay, Emma, Annie, uh, and then Ashley oh, O'Hara, Hara. fourth, Miranda Kopinski in fifth. Okay. I I do not have Miranda in, uh, in fifth. And I do have, do you have Casey. Top. Huh? No. Do you have Casey? I do not. Um, I actually have Lindsay, Emma, and then Annie for top three. I think it's going to, I don't think that this is going to be easy for Lindsay. And if Lindsay wins this, she'll set the record for the most consecutive, or she'll tie Hobie and Miriam for the most consecutive wins in Spartan history with 16. So Whoa. a lot of pressure. And keep in mind during the streak, she's won national or uh, a world title in 2021, all these national series races, regional. Ch- she's not showing up and just getting these easy podiums left and right. Like she's, she's no, she only shows up hard way. Hard. Yeah. Yeah, so if she decides to run like the Sunday Sprint and win that, if she ends up winning uh, the Beast, then that'll be a pretty anticlimactic way of setting the record, but she should, should set it, so just keep that in mind. Um, so, yeah, I've got Lindsay Emma, who I think is going to have a, a great race. I just think obstacle failures are going to do her in. Um, she's just all – she's never run a clean race, as far as I'm aware. And if you give Lindsay an opportunity to separate from you because you screwed up, I don't care how short or long the penalty loop is or if it's burpees, Lindsay will execute. She's won so many titles at OCR Worlds at this venue. Used to train here when she lived in Ontario. So home field advantage and the experience that's she's not gonna lose. Um Annie's gonna have a great race as well. When I when I ran in Kelowna, um and at OCR Worlds, she podiumed as well. Um she went out with Lindsay and Emma. And so she's confident in her climbing over five thousand feet of climbing. She'll go out with them and then I don't think anyone in the field, not guts is the wrong word, but I don't think anyone else in the field would be foolish enough to go at their pace at the beginning. Um, so I see separation and it's just, you know, the podium is going to be locked up two minutes into the race. Um, so yeah, fourth place, like I said, um, I don't have Ashley O'Hara or Miranda, uh, uh, Ashley O'Hara in fourth, but I have Miranda in fourth. So nice. Yeah. Just her, her convincing win at Killington and sixth place at OCR Worlds proves she can climb in two plus hour races. And it's not too, like, it's within driving distance. I'm assuming she's, uh, it's, it's a long drive from, from Cape Cod, but she, I don't think she's going to have like the, the travel issues that some other people might come into uh, crossing the border and stuff. So that's a big, big plus for her. And fifth place, I'm going Nicole. Wow. I, I think, I think Nicole, despite all of like the, super tentative going on the downhills and stuff you know she's not going to fail an obstacle and her running just on the uphills she might be going 80 percent, but that's better than a lot of the other women in this field no disrespect to them but and on the flat she still is running you know 10k plus during training it's not like she's just been a bum on the couch for the past year and a half she's still aerobically fit and a former world champion i think that that alone will get her on the uh, fifth place I think it's one of those things that's like, could you make money on that bet? Yes. And would I bet on it, even if I didn't have a top five, like, would I bet on it? No, because I feel like too many things can go wrong. And you'd hate to see her come back from injury and get injured again, but can she... Even though on half a leg she's faster than most of the field, again, it's different when you're doing it and you're in competition and she feels a little something. She might be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm literally slow jogging it in, which for her is still faster than most people. But 
I think you are rolling the dice, my friend. And if you're, oh. if you, I will bow to you if you are correct. But yeah. I think it's a big roll. You're rolling, you're rolling for like, you know, double ones or whatever you call it. You're rolling for snake eyes. Snake eyes. There we go. Yeah. Uh, realistically, I've got no other insight. That's just my gut. I just think that her fitness is superior to everyone else in the field on two of the three elements of this race. Granted, downhill is probably you're probably going to see. 45 minutes plus of descending over the course of this race, but you're going to see an hour and a half plus of going uphill and on the flats. And I think that that is where she'll be able to separate herself, even if she's not going all out. Um, and that's going to add up to enough to be fifth place, just complete guess. And I could look like an idiot and she'll finish 17th and barely hobble her way into racing at Abu Dhabi if she decides to, but yeah, taking a, taking a risk. We'll see what happens. Well, here's the race that we want, like the race we want, is healthy Annie, healthy Ariel, healthy Nicole, Emiko Clark, Lindsay, Chris. Like, let's hope we get that. And, and, Rose, and Alex. Like, you, we've got deep women's field these days. But I'm saying just those five, I think. I think, I mean, obviously Alex could finish fifth in that race. Um, But I feel like those, like, we've never seen those five because one or two of them is always out. So we just haven't yeah. had that, like, best of the best yet. Yeah, no, I can't argue with that at all like next year if Lindsay stays retired and races all the whole year then uh you know we might get that what about alex though isn't she you talked with uh with faye recently didn't she give you the the insight that alex is retired despite racing in dallas this upcoming weekend and doing another savage race before so it seems like retiring means i'm just gonna race that's what it comes out of these days. Yeah. Well, I was unaware until I saw Alex's post that said, I guess yeah. I unretired. And then I talked to Faye and she's like, well, I think she's kind of over it, which, you know, I get it. We all get it. We all talk about the issues Spartan has. So yeah, not, no. not just payment problems either, just general industry issues. So I get it if she stepped away, but I did not know that she was even yeah. thinking about it. I think Alex, she, like her, her son is really, really good at cross country and, and running in high school. And I think that she has like a really big interest in following his progress and stuff. And just the leaving while he's doing those races and stuff, she wants to be there as a mom just to, to watch it. So I think that that's playing a little in, in her decisions, especially in like the, the fall and springtime. So she might have a little more flexibility in the summer um, for racing. And I don't want to like speak on her behalf, but I know that Jaden's really crushing into the running game these days. And, she Alex really likes trail running and she did well in ultras world's toughest mother in the past. And I think she wants to explore that Avenue again as well. Yeah, man, you can always, you can always run longer, slower. That's what I say. Literally you said, yeah. <laughs> well, it's true though. As you get older, that's the deal, right? Yeah. Do you still, these, have guys, these guys are still running. These two guys, I think are still running at the backyard altar. They've run for four fucking days straight. They were at last time I checked your stories that there were like a, handful of americans who are at 71 laps or something like what are they at these days so there's two there's two guys left at literally they just crossed 100 no one had ever done that before and and you need at least two to get to 100 so yeah. now it's like what's gonna happen it's four days and seven hours or something crazy that's so the point is you can run slow a long time that's yep. barely four it's barely you know four miles an hour mm -hmm. yeah i I could not even come close to that. I don't think I could bike that long. So, <laughs> I'd fall off because I'd be so tired. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yep. We ready to move on to the move on to the men? Let's do it. Yep. Woof. This is a doozy. This is a darn, darn doozy, which I don't think I would have put. I would have said before OCRWC, I would have said Rylan and Tyler are both still a step behind the two Ryans, but not anymore. We cannot say that anymore. Yeah. So, so if you're looking at the names that jump out, uh, Atkins, Kempson, Shadeg, Veerman, Hawk, and I hate that Hawk's an asterisk. Uh, Do you know, you know what happened with Hawk? No. I mean, okay. I mean, I think he was talking about like if he could, had, could afford it or not, which I is a real, you know, I get that, but I figure he'd know by now. Yeah, no, I won't go into like the super specifics, but he had a an accident at work. Um, oh, that dude! Really, really messed up his uh, his, his foot and Achilles area. So, oh yeah. no! So we need the, so we I, need the youth. And that was like within the past week. So 
as far as he said it text me if he decides not to go i have yet to to get any info like saying that he's not going to race at this point but i don't know that's a that's a big ask right there but he will have you know six seven weeks until uh, uh no i guess like five weeks until abu dhabi if he decides to race that um afterwards if not he can i believe he can move up into third place potentially in the national series race if he gets in the podium